Hey everybody, how are you doing? Last Outrider here with another Necron video for you. This time I bring you the Royal Court. And now the fluff. Like the blazing heart of a vast, ancient star system, a Necron overlord is surrounded by a court of sworn lords and loyal cryptics. These are his trusted lieutenants, advisors, and technomancers, each one having earned the right to bask in the terrible, radiant glory of their liege. Upon the field of war, the royal court becomes an extension of the will of the overlord, executing his orders and driving his legions to victory against his foes. Of course, each court harbors those who would see their own star rise, perhaps even to eclipse the light of their masters. And so, its lords and cryptics are always determined to prove their worth and thus advance their own agendas. For the overlord, the court is not just a powerful tool of war, but also a means of keeping his potential rivals firmly under his burning scrutiny. That's the royal court. So what is it made up of? The royal court is a formation that consists of one overlord, one to three lords, and one to three cryptics. Now, this is kind of crazy. This formation, I've never really understood because... As you know, in a formation, it's a separate detachment apart from your force or allocation chart. And it's also not an allied detachment. So you can have as many of them as you want. Which means, according to this, you can take an entire army, pretty much, of one overlord, one lord, and one cryptic. Just all of them. Bop, 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 bop. Each one being a separate detachment. And that is apparently one court. Now, it gets even better because the Overlord, the Lords, and the Cryptics, they can all be the individual characters. For example, you can have Imhotep the, Sm the Storm Lord be one formation. Nimesor uh, Zandrech be a second formation. Tazran the Imp the Infinite, a third. Anrekar the Traveler, a fourth. And, of course, that goes for your cryptics, too, and, and Lord. So you can have Vanguard Oberon can be taken in place of a Lord. Uh, Illuminor Ceres or Oricon the Diviner may be taken in place of a cryptic. So you could put virtually every single, if you have enough points, uh, independent character into one Necron army. It gets even better. You can replace the Overlord with a Catacomb Command Barge. So if having many Overlords seems strange, you don't need to take anyone. That's pretty amazing, by the way. So that means one Catacomb Command Barge and one Lord and one Cryptic can also be a formation. Now, if you take it, these formations then get special rules. They consist of, uh, they all get move through cover, which is nice. They all get relentless, which is even better. And they get another special rule called Wisdom of the Eons. It says, if the Overlord from this formation or the model taken in its place of the Overlord, that means a Catacomb Command Barge, is chosen as your Warband, as your Warlord, sorry, you can re-roll the result 
when rolling on the Warlord Traits table in Codex Necrons. How's that? So all of these formations automatically get to re-roll. Wow. Uh, uh, um, on the Warlord Trait. That means you can make this your primary detachment. You can make you can make it uh, you can make it your warlord. Sounds kind of cool. The thing that I think is cool about that, um, maybe I missed it earlier in the codex, but I think that means you can actually have an army without any warlord in it. You can if you can take this as the catacomb, the catacomb command barge, and just use that as your yeah, I think as your as your army warlord and not have any Necron warlords at all. So now you have fluff material for people who want to create a tomb world which has no warlord at all. Or I mean no Pharons, no overlord at all. It can just be the AI of the tomb world takes over the running of everything. There are no, and now you can you can have the true Terminator effect, and you can the, the the true Skynet runs an army of Necrons uh, as Terminators, and there are no warlords, no courts. The entire Necron fluff can now just be completely ignored, and you can make up whatever you want. That sounds cool. Try it out and enjoy. Bye. Mm.